Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm from Crane Creek Photography and I recently did a newborn session and I need to get these pictures up on Instagram. To save me some time, I would rather uh, time block or do them all as a batch, so basically batch my posts um, because we all know or hopefully, um, uh, if you haven't heard this before, um, hopefully you will take this to heart that the number one reason people get unfollowed on Instagram is if they post too many pictures right in a row. Now the algorithm changed things a little bit um, in that uh, you know it's not as big of a deal as when it was chronological and so when anybody ever posted like 10 images all in a row on Instagram, I immediately unfollowed them because I was like, whoa, that's way too many. Um, so you do want to space out your Instagram posts by at least like two to three hours, I would say. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save myself a little bit of time by having a lot of posts queued up um, in my Instagram account, in the app actually. Um, and so I don't have to use third-party software. Um, there are many different apps and um, software companies that allow you to schedule your Instagram posts or batch post them, um, even do them from your computer, which might be helpful for you. Um, but I just like to keep it free and easy, so I am going to do this all within the Instagram app. Um, so here's how I would do it. Um, this is my Instagram account. I haven't posted in forever. <laughs> you could see like a Halloween picture and then like a Christmas picture. So it's been a while. So I'm going to go ahead and batch a few of these posts because I don't want to freak out and annoy all of my followers by posting a bunch of them at one time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the plus button to add a post, um, which is at the bottom middle of your screen. I'm going to go ahead and select a picture. Let's go ahead and select this one. So if I'm going to um, go ahead and post this picture, what I would do is hit next, next, I would write out my caption here. I'm not gonna make you guys wait for that, but I'd write out my caption. I tap OK. At this point, I could um, tag someone um, in the picture if I chose. Um, now, this mama doesn't have an Instagram account to my knowledge, so I don't. Um, I won't tag her in that, but you could certainly do that. Um, I can go ahead and automatically share this to my Facebook business page, um, which I'm actually not going to do, um, and there's a reason for that. My pictures on Instagram, I resize to 1080 pixels, um, and the photos that I use for my uh, Facebook page, I resize those to 2048 pixels. So I just make them a different size so that they're optimal um, for, for those different social media platforms. Um, I can go ahead and add my location, which I will because I've actually found that geotagging my location has brought me more inquiry, inquiries and more business, more clients, um, because a lot of times people will search their local area. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, now at this point, I could hit the blue share button in the upper right hand corner but since I'm gonna go ahead and batch this or save it for later I can go ahead and hit the back arrow in the upper left corner I'm gonna hit that back arrow twice once twice and now I can save this as a draft so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save a draft and you can see here that it's um, uh, grayed out in the bottom of my screen now if I went ahead and chose a different picture to post this picture, the one with the mama holding the two babies, if I if I changed my mind and wanted to use that one, I could go ahead and tap it, which would gray it out. The picture that you've selected will be grayed out, and then I can hit next, and then there there it is. It will pre-fill my caption, it will uh, pre-fill my geotag and any tags that I've made. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and back out. Um, let me show you. Let me just go ahead and do that. Let me um, let me do this one. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have my crop right. I'm going to hit next, next. I'm going to write out my caption. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. And then from here, again, I could tag people. I could add my location, um, share to any other platforms that I want to. I'm going to hit the back arrow in the upper left twice. So there's one, two. I'm going to save that one as a draft. Now I have two different drafts. I can tap over to this one and it'll gray out, or tap this one, and it'll be gray. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit where it says Manage 2. I'm going to tap that, Manage 2. I can tap where it says Edit, and now I can select one 
And then at the bottom of my screen in red font, it says discard posts. I could discard that one. I could select multiple posts to discard as well. I'm not gonna do that because I actually do plan on posting those. Um, so that's how that works. Now one great little trick for you, I always recommend having your hashtags ready to go before you make a post to Instagram because um, Instagram's algorithm is very time sensitive. You want the most amount of engagement right away in order to show up in top posts and have a better chance of being featured and that type of thing. Um, but if you're doing this on the go, you might not have all those um, hashtags ready to go or it might be cumbersome for you. I use my notes app, but if you wanted to, what you could do is I'm gonna go in here and let's just say I have my hashtags already set. Now, I, I like how it looks to have your hashtags in the first comment. You can also add uh, hashtags in your caption, but I like the look of a clean caption um, and then adding your hashtags to your first comment where you can add up to 30 hashtags. You can add another 30 in your caption if you like. Um, but if I'm scheduling this out and I might be busy that day and not have a chance to do my hashtags, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the one, two, three button on my keyboard and then I'm gonna hit the return button and now I'm going to, you see you've got um, the uh, punctuation and numerical keyboard up. I'm gonna hit the period, return, one, two, three, period, return, one, two, three, period, return, one, two, three, period, return, one, two, three. Um, let me see, that's four periods, and there's my fifth period. Okay, so I've got five dots or five periods there. Um, I created a text replacement a while ago. Um, actually, I think some of these tags are outdated, but just for demonstration purposes, um, my text replacement, I'm gonna go ahead and my shortcut that I set up is 30 tags, I'm gonna hit my space bar, and it's gonna go ahead and fill um, those hashtags for me. And again, this, these are not the hashtags I'm gonna use. You might notice some outdated ones on there. But just for demonstration, um, let's say I wanted to save this for later. I'm gonna hit OK. And since I'm saving this as a draft, I'm gonna hit the back arrow twice. One, um, oh, actually, just one time. Um, since I've already saved this. I don't know if you caught that, but um, because I've already saved this one as a draft and I was just editing it, I only had to tap it once. Um, so now when I'm ready to post, I can hit the next button and it will pre-fill again my caption plus all of those hashtags. And you're like, oh, I don't want those all in my, in my caption. That's cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap at the end and I'm gonna go ahead and select. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the blue handle scrolling up and I'm gonna make it stop right after my caption and I'm gonna go ahead from there I'm going to hit the cut um, the cut word the cut word I'm gonna hit where it says cut so now those are those are copied it cut from my my caption but it did um, uh, it did copy those to my, my clipboard. So now I can hit OK. And what I can do at this point is after I share this, I can then tap to paste them. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, let me just quickly edit my caption here. So I've edited my caption. I'm going to hit OK. I've got my geotag. I don't need to tag anyone. I'm not sharing this to another platform. Um, again, my, my 30 hashtags are copied to my phone's clipboard, but they're not in my caption. I'm gonna go ahead and share this. I'm gonna hit the comment bubble. I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna paste, and there it is. There's my hashtags. So that is how I would go ahead, and, and you can see here, um, I've got my other draft here. I can go ahead and manage um, multiple drafts. I actually don't know if there's a limit on how many um, drafts you can save in here, but it's really handy when you're busy and on the go and you want to make your Instagram post, but you don't want to do it all at once, but you do want to find a way to be more efficient with your time, and that's by sitting down and saving those posts as drafts and then posting them throughout your day or throughout the next few days. I hope that was helpful. Please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. Thanks.